Crystal and welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday for me, Friday for you. So happy Friday. Never thought we would get here. It has been a long week already and it is only Wednesday. My husband's still in Ireland golfing. They made it there fine and safe, except for their golf clubs did not. So I think they have them now, but they had to rent or use different clubs, I think for the first couple of days maybe. I'm not even sure, I'm sure he'll correct me. I should probably check and make sure they even have theirs. But, so they got there, they had a lot of delays and stress, but they made it, they're fine, and they're having a lot of fun. So. They're having a lot of fun. We're also having fun here, but we're just kind of adjusting to a summer schedule. It's been a week. And so with Memorial Day on Monday, it's just kind of been catching up on all the things since we were gone. So laundry, getting groceries in the house, cleaning up the house trying to find our routine, all of that. So anyways, that's that for today's vlog. I'm gonna be doing some things around the house. I actually went to Walmart this morning and picked up a few groceries. And so now I'm gonna stick at home for the majority of the day now. We have soccer and gymnastics tonight, so we'll do that. But I wanna do some decorating around the house and some cleaning around the house. And you guys seem to love those types of videos, so I thought we would do that today. I'm actually upstairs right now. I want to uh, decorate my kind of console table, or I don't even know what you want to call it. I have a little table out in our hallway between all the bedrooms that I want to decorate today and share with you all of the pieces, some of the things you have seen in some hauls that I've shared on my channel over the past month or so. So I thought we would do that today, maybe clean my floors. Oh my gosh, I need to clean my floors so bad. We got to do that for sure. <laughs> and we'll see what else today brings. So let's get started on this table though. So this is the area that we are working with. There's my bedroom right there with all the things that I'm gonna use to decorate. A lot of you love this ladder that I picked up in the Hobby Lobby clearance, and we have been too. The boys have left it alone, believe it or not. So that's going to stay for now. Of course, you can see I still need to paint. This is like, this is the white side and this is the oak side. So I have still a lot of painting to do. I'm just kind of pacing myself now with summer break here. But this is the area right here. Now I've had this table, it's from Hobby Lobby. I've had it for, oh my goodness, two or three months now I would say. I picked it up, but they do still have it. I was just really drawn to it. I wanted something light and bright out here because there's no windows and it gets pretty dark with the dark walls. So I love this. Uh, I just love the back, like kind of the barn look to it or the farmhouse look to it. So I'm obsessed with this table. I love it so much. Again, it's from Hobby Lobby. So this is what we're going to be decorating today. Also out here, this is the kids hamper. It's just easier to have it in the hall and then we can just throw stuff in instead of having it in their bedrooms. And then if you've seen this before, this is from Decor Steals. This was in our living room, but I moved it up here because I just think it fit in so well right there. So we're gonna be decorating this today, and I am so excited, so excited. The pieces I'm going to be decorating with are all right here. They are either from Hobby Lobby or Decor Steals. Decor Steals is like a daily kind of website that sells a bunch of farmhouse decor, so I generally check it all the time and see what they're offering and scoop up some of these deals. So I'll try to link the decor steel stuff below. A lot of it is um, sold out, but you can get put on the waiting list and then when they offer it again, you can snatch it up if it's something that you really like. But yeah, I love their website and so a lot of the stuff I've just kind of been collecting over the past few months knowing that I wanted to decorate the space. And then some things I've just picked up from Hobby Lobby over the, you know, my millions of trips I've made there. Like this little sign is from Hobby Lobby. I showed this in like my last big like farmhouse decor haul. I love that sign. So true as well. And the, this little wreath is from Hobby Lobby. So what else? This little cotton stem is from Hobby Lobby. It was in their fall collection. I'm going to use that. And then I just showed this in my Dollar General haul. I want to use this up on this table. I think it'll just match really well. This lantern is from Decor Steels. It does not come with the candle, but I just added a candle in there because there's no outlet by this table. So I just for like a little lamp, it's just, it's not like gonna light up the whole hallway or anything like that, but just to offer a little bit of light out there if I wanted to at night, I have a little candle lantern. This mirror is super heavy, but this was also from Decor Steels, and I love that. I really need to hang it on the wall, though, because I'm afraid that the 
kids might knock it over on themselves because it is heavy. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna do that by myself. This pillow is actually just a pillow cover from Amazon. I used this in my fall decor outside on my front porch, but I'm gonna use it inside. I think it'll match really well with everything else I have going on. Hello. And then this little trunk, I actually bought these from Decor Steals as well. So like I said, I've just kind of been collecting things as they offer sales. And this is a set of three. This is the smallest one. And I wanna to try to use this on the bottom or the base of the table. The other two are actually in my living room. I don't know if I've showed you those or not, but I will. Um, but I really like these two and it offers just a fun way to decorate and fill up that space below. So those are all the things I am working with. I suppose we shall just get started. I already put the nails in the wall for the mirror. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that hung up and then that was basically the toughest part about this whole thing and why I've been putting it off because I wasn't looking forward to hanging this up, but it should be pretty easy. It's just really heavy. <laughs> Look at mommy's mirror. Is it nice? Do you like it? Yeah, I don't think it's going anywhere, so that's good. You and me, yeah, that's all I need, and I'll be alright. I'll be right here. I swear that I'll stay here with you. really happy with how it came together. I feel like I could easily switch out that pillow for fun seasonal ones if I really wanted to, but honestly, I don't even think I'll do that. Like this area just feels complete to me and I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with it. I love that. So yay, that is like really fun farmhouse, neutral gorgeousness right there. See, I'm making up my own words again. So that is done. I, this is definitely my happy place up here. I love coming up here. So I love that, and I think it really pairs well with the ladder that I just picked up as well. So yay, the space is coming together. So other plans I have for up here, I'd like to switch out the light fixture for something more farmhouse style. 
So that'll be a project for my hubby. I do not do light fixtures and that probably will be in the next couple of months. I'm in no hurry, but otherwise the space is done. Like this is done. I like, I don't like having the hamper here. I think like a bench or something would be fun there, but for now we're doing the hamper just kind of more functional for us right now. So now that that is done, it is time for lunch. It is 11.48, but you know, not to be exact or anything. <laughs> but we try to eat about noon and then nap time's at one. I just need to feed the twins today because Macy and Madden actually spent the night at grandma's house last night. So that is why the house is quiet right now. It's just because I only have the twins home and they're busy getting into trouble. So luckily that did not take me very long, but it is now time for lunch and I know they are hungry. Strawberries were only $2 at Walmart today, so I picked up two, and they look amazing. Like, very rarely do strawberries at Walmart look good, but these look good. So I'm gonna start by slicing some of these up for the boys. We actually had a late snack, so I don't expect them to eat very much. So we're gonna have some strawberries and probably a few other snacky items for lunch. Mom? Is he still there? Mm -hmm. No more blackbird? No more blackbird. He went bye-bye. We're out bird watching right now. Bye -bye, bye bye Yeah, he went bye-bye. Bye-bye, blackbird. Are you boys ready for a nap? No. No. Oh, it's time to play. What would you like to play? Before I put the boys down for a nap, I thought I would show you. I ran to Target this morning and returned the pillow, the blue and red plaid one I actually ended up bringing back. I just decided that I'm not going to decorate the playroom for the fourth. I don't want to get too crazy. So I ended up exchanging the red lantern or luminary for the little blue one. I thought that'll be cute. And I will put it on the tear tray when it is time. Just because I have so many red or scarlet is the technical word. I have so many red pieces of Fiesta that I think will work. So I wanna just pick up a few more blue pieces. So I exchanged the red and then I took back the pillow and I only spent $2. It was literally like run in, run out. And I grabbed just another pack of those little flags too. So just putting some things away around the house before we go down for nap. Now that I don't have to edit every single nap time because I cut back on my videos, I have time to do other things. So I made a list for nap time today. Need to fold some laundry, pull up the garbage cans. I wanna water flowers outside. Mop, I think I'm gonna try the Fabuloso cleaner I just picked up so I can give you kind of my honest opinion about it. And then guest room, I was gonna head down there and put my pillow on that I just picked up and then I can show you that. And then there's a wreath I need to hang up. It fell off the command hook. So I'm gonna try to fix that and I'll show you the guest room kind of in the process too. So not like a super productive nap time. Like these will literally take me like five minutes to do, but it'll feel good to get the mopping done and then maybe I'll just relax. I did not sleep good last night. Like I woke up at 318 to be exact. So again, <laughs> I remember these things. I woke up at 318 and I'm like, I cannot go back to sleep. Like I'm wide awake. I was kind of thinking about video ideas. And then once my mind starts going and it just, it does not shut off. So I'm kind of getting tired. And so I may just try to rest after I get those things done, but I at least want to do that because tomorrow, we are heading on a little mini road trip. I'm bringing the kids to my mom's. I'm gonna run to Costco really quick and just stock up on our pantry, like all of like the snacks and food and drinks that we need. I'm gonna try to stock up and make just a big like summer break Costco run. And it just works out well to do it this week when my hubby is gone so we can kind of take our time um, and just kind of be gone all day and not have to worry about if he's gonna be here or not. So we're doing that tomorrow. I'm thinking I will end up sharing a Costco haul depending on what I all pick up. I think I will. I think I'll do a Costco haul on Monday. So you have that to look forward to coming up next. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get the boys to bed and get started on my list. See the clock? There's a clock. At Gaga's house. At Gaga's house? Ooh, Madden, be careful. Ooh, what's this, Andrew? Here's rain. 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 Uh oh. Sam. Pooh. Uh, Snowflake.
brought you downstairs to show you this is our guest room in the basement. We don't come down here a lot, so you don't really see a lot of this room in our videos. But this is it. It is kind of off of our family room back here. And so it's kind of a combination. It's a really big room. It's a little bit awkward size, so we kind of use it for dual purposes. So we have like our guest area here as well as kind of over here we have a dresser and like a little chair and then back here we have a futon so we can sleep more people if we need to and then it's kind of my husband's little man area we haven't really done too much with this the basement's kind of been our last priority with all of the home projects we have going on but i think i say this all the time we definitely want to get new carpet once i finally make my way down here to paint all the trim and stuff is probably when we'll end up doing that and that's probably most likely a next year type of project i just don't see us having a lot of time to do it this year so we are down here. This wreath keeps falling off of the command hook that I had. I had this old window up here. You can see the strip up there. So I'm gonna try to figure out a different way to hang this up really quick so I can get it off the floor before the kids ruin it. And then this is the pillow I just showed you. This was the plan was to put it, oh, there's my twine. Put it right here on the bed. And it kind of matches. It's just a different shade of blue in here. I think that works. It's cute. It's the perfect size, so it works out well. Macy is using the other nightstand, so we're using a different table over there. So I just have like a few extra decor pieces I'm not using upstairs anymore. Now that I'm starting to decorate for summer, so I might as well just put them in here and give a little touch of something so they're not just plain tables. So I'm going to play around with this. I think this tray I'll end up leaving on the bed and doing like something fun here, but for now I don't have anything set up and ready. So just going to leave that there for now and try to get this wreath hung up and we'll call this project done for the day. Macy's home. She went out shopping with grandma. They went to Shopco, which is closing. So their entire store is like 50% off right now. Is that right? Yeah, and the uh, outdoor stuff is 60. Oh, cool. And there was a lot of girl toys that I really wanted to get. It was a really hard decision. <laughs> so grandma spoiled her. I got her a pick me pop. It was 50% off at $24.99, which I think is a pretty good deal. Because didn't you get another one of these? Did you get no, one for that's Christmas? Different. That's different. It was oh, you stuffing. got a rainbow corn for Christmas. No. Have you ever got a big pick me pop like this? No. Oh, no. okay. Well, let's open it and let's check it out. A live unboxing on Crystal Terra. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Let me smell. Mmm. It's so fluffy. Stuffed animal hoarder right there. We all have our things. I tell you what. <laughs> and then you have some more bags to open. All right, so. She got a rainbow, or not rainbow corn, <laughs> pick me pop. Oh, he's cute. Nap time is over. We have a little grumpy bear, don't we? But we're gonna go play outside and everything is going to be okay because it is absolutely gorgeous outside. I don't think it wants to focus on the window, but it is 71 and sunny. It is amazing out. Did you drop your toy? <laughs> don't smile. <laughs> I knew it! So we're gonna go outside. I did get my list done. The floor is I'm not 100% sold on the Fabuloso. Like I feel like it smelled amazing. I love the smell over any Mrs. Myers product I've tried. It's kind of, you can't really see, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel like they got like as clean as when I used the Mrs. Myers. So jury is still out on the cleaner, but it smells so good. It feels really good to get this list done. It did not take me very long, and then I was also able to relax, so that is good. Before I head out, I was going to show you this. I worked on this actually yesterday. I basically just took all of my yellow Fiesta dishes and rearranged it a little bit more to get it to a spot where I was happy with it, and I moved Bailey's dog treat container in here as well just because it's yellow. And so yeah, I love how that came together. It's going to change probably in the next week or so for uh, the 4th of July, but then I think I'm gonna put it back to this after the 4th is over because I just, I love how it all came together. It's so cute. Remember these from my box swap? And lemons. Oh yeah, so much yellow goodness. Yellow is my favorite color. So this just makes me happy to look at it. So anytime I'm standing, which I'm always standing right here, whether I am feeding the kids 
or basically just feeding the kids, I get to see this and it's just so beautiful. Do you hear the sirens? Is someone in trouble? Siren, someone's in trouble. Yes. Happiness in a basket, right there. Those are for a different time. We have these. I want a green one. Green? What color do you want? Ethan? Red. Red? Okay. Oop. You know, green and orange are my favorite. Um, I want to have a red one too. You want red too? Mama, blue. Blue for mom? Can you open mine, please? Yep, Macy, do you want a popsicle? Mm -hmm. Change your mind. <laughs> Good job. It is so beautiful outside. Our neighbor's tree is just gorgeous. I wish these lasted longer. Sadly, they don't. We are back from bringing Macy to gymnastics and I'm just packing uh, something to eat for us for dinner tonight because we are now heading to soccer. Last week I ended up eating in the car and it didn't go so well. It was just rushed. So I decided to make the twins some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And then they packed their water bottles in here. And then the chips. This is just like a random mega chips that's almost gone. I thought we could throw that in there too. And then they each have soccer balls. We're going to play some soccer there. Yeah. Yes, we're going to play some soccer. Mama, bye bye. Do you have your ball? Mama. Okay. Mama, bye bye. Yes, we're going to go bye bye to soccer now. Mama. 